Hi, I'm Mom Das and I welcome you all to Mom Das Life Admit. Today I'm participating for the third time in the monthly challenge called Look for Less, hosted by Yami from the Latina Next Door. She has done some awesome DIYs to visit her channel and she has been hosting this monthly challenge. This is the third, fourth time and this time the challenge is being co-hosted by Mari from the Inspiration Wall. She has some wonderful Halloween DIYs and other DIYs. Do check their channels. I'll put a link to their channels in the description box below and to the playlist created by them. I took inspiration from two different sites, two different high-end products and I made my own uh, taking the best parts and the practical parts that I could incorporate and I'm going to show you how I decorate this piece in fall for now and also how you can change it for winter decor as well. So do keep watching and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider subscribing by hitting the red subscribe button given below the video or by hitting the icon given in the bottom right corner of the video and hit the notification bell so that you're notified each time I post a video. Let's begin. I really liked the Pottery Barn $59 large size highness lantern in bronze finish with movable handles but I did not find the right hardware in my local hardware stores. Then I also found this Wayfair.uk.co highness glass candle holder and I like this rope finish around the neck of the bottle but it doesn't have a handle. So, so I incorporated both the features of Pottery Barn and Mayfair and I'll show you my take for Highness Lantern. For this DIY I'm just using a jar that my mother-in-law sent by uh, filling it with some pickles. It's a regular glass jar with a lid. I've taken the lid out and all that I'm going to use more is, uh, is an aluminium wire, some jute ropes and a thick jute rope. That's all other than glue scissors so I'm just gonna these are the two ends just wrap it around and twist it a bit so I get a loop and I'm going to fix the loop here, make it straight and go around it. And at this point, I'll need another loop. So I'm going to make another loop here. Having placed the aluminium handle in its place, I'll just cover this whole area and wind it up with some thin jute rope and fix it with some glue. Once the jute is fixed onto the neck and the glue is dry, I take a thick jute rope and a thin jute string and I pass one end of the thick jute rope through one of the loops and take it out and make a loop and fix it with the thin jute rope and uh, secure it with some more glue. I repeat the same process on the other side and make the handle.
Now for decoration, I took some pine cones and I took uh, gold paint and uh, silver paint and I painted just the tips of the pine cones, some gold and some silver. For the fall, I'm just using my painted pine cones and some fairy lights. For winter, I added some fall snow or salt or as here, I just had some granulated sugar and added some pine cones, a red truck and a deer. I spent nothing, absolutely zero because all the materials I used in this DIY are from my home. But even if one spends and buys all the materials, one will not spend more than ten dollars not at all so i love my diy that i've done thanks for watching and do come back for more